Hi class. Today we get to study Elder Gary E. Stevenson's last two conference talks and they are wonderful. And in case you haven't noticed, there's a theme between his April talk and his October talk and it's avoid Satan, be aware of him, and do everything you can to build up protection so you don't succumb to temptation. What wonderful talks. I wanted to jump right in with the verses that Elder Stevenson quotes from Moses chapter 1. I think there's a fascinating little thing that happens here. As you know, Moses has his incredible experience with God on Mount Sinai. And he comes away from that experience collapsed and drained of energy and lays on the ground, it says in verse 10 of Moses 1, for the space of many hours before Moses did again receive his natural strength. And he said unto himself, Now for this cause I know that man is nothing, which thing I had never supposed. Moses, as you know from the great cartoon, grew up as a prince in Egypt. And he has seen that Pharaoh is worshipped as a godlike character. He would have seen the, the pyramids and the temple at Luxor and these wonderful, massive, still standing Egyptian structures. And he thought man could do anything. And then he sees the Lord and goes, uh, man is nothing. After he regains his strength, Satan comes and confronts Moses and listen carefully to these words and follow along in your scriptures to look at the spelling. Verse 12, and it came to pass that when Moses had said these words, behold, Satan came tempting him, saying, Moses, son of man, worship me. He has just been told in three times in the previous nine verses Moses, you're my son. Moses, you're my son. Moses, you're my son. Moses, you're a son of God. And, and now Satan comes and says, Mom, wait, 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 wait. Moses, I want you to think of yourself not as a son of God, but as a son of Amram and Yoshebed. You're a, a mortal. You're not a divine being. You're not a child of God. And he attacks his identity. As we study Elder Stevenson's talks on avoiding temptation and building up protection so that we don't stumble repeatedly and give in to the father of all lies, would you remember one of his first attacks is to attack our identity as children of God? Oh, I testify, we are sons and daughters of the Most High God. Truly, when we sing, I am a child of God. That needs to always stay with us, that we remember who we are. If we remember who we are, we're less likely to be offensive to neighbors. If we remember who we are, we're less likely to get mad at roommates or family members. If we remember who we are, we're not going to take a little five-finger discount at Walmart and steal a bag of chocolate chips. If we remember who we are, we have more power than Satan ever had. So, studying Elder Stevenson, look for what areas you're weak in and build up barriers as Elder Stevenson invites, but remember the teaching from Moses 1. We are children of God, and he has power over Satan to help us overcome him in every way in our life. So enjoy your studies and stay strong.